Hi everyone, let's begin a new video on sync command because one of my researchers, she had asked me, ma'am, how we have to divert our results directly in our Microsoft document or how we have to export our document. So here is, those are the results are coming in R after doing all the calculation. So how we have to divert our results in Microsoft document. So let me start this. Uh, how, already those commands I had already done in my previous video, same comments I'm running. But here is you would understand how we have to divert our results. So this one is I'm cleaning. This one is again, I'm repeating. This one is the script console. This is console. And here is the this is the environment. And here is the history, where is you can see all those commands you have have run previously so there is also an advantage you can use these commands suppose whatever the commands you have run so you can copy these commands and you can forward these commands to source or to console let's say for example i'm deleting all those things those i have run so i'm removing all these things and here is also this normal plot is also i'm deleting because otherwise you people will get confused so now again i have to run how you have to use sync command, right? So what we have to do here is, you can see here all those commands we have run in the, all these functions we have run in the last video. And now we will, we would like to start a command that is sync, right? So you could see here, let's say I have already told you in my previous session, right? Here is set working directory, right? And choose directory. So I have chosen in the documents folder, there is the, you can see here, I will go back in the documents, there is the R folder. And I have chosen this directory, right? And this directory you can open. So everything automatically by default would be saved in this document. And now what I have to do, I want whatever results, let's say, for example, let me run this command, right? Skewness and price, right? So you can see here results are here, minus 0.188. Same is here. We want to run kurtosis, same is here. Up now, I want all these results should be in my Word document directly rather than they are reflecting here because I would like to report all these results in my research paper. So what should I do? What I have to do? Here is this command you can see. Let's say here is sync. Let's say I'm giving one new file. I would like to create one new file. Let's say sync command, right? Sync function. And here is now I would like to create one document Then say we can say, uh, I would like to give this one is the res, right? Dot doc. That means all the results would be would be stored in this particular document. This is the function is opening. And after this, you can write sync and we will close this function also, right? How you have to do, close this function also. Otherwise, what would happen? Your results would not come over here. Uh, now we would like to divert all the results. So let's say I am just running this function you can say sync res dot doc so now i would like to check this thing you can see here now in my this folder document right in the r folder this res document is created and open a read only copy and press OK. So now you can see this is the blank document is created. Now, whatever uh, whatever statistical analysis I will do in my R, R studio, everything, all the results would be stored here, right? OK, once again, shall we now repeat this process? So there would be more clarity. Now I'm repeating the same function once again. I am writing here. OK, fine. Let me first close this. Uh, Right, so now the sync is closed. Now, again, I would like to create sync, let's say, 
here is i am giving you this command here is output or we can say we can say um, output we can say output one because output is already in my this folder so now i am writing here is dot doc and now we will run this command right so now we can see whether this document is created in my folder in our folder yes very much earlier it there was only output right and now output one is created so now you can see all the results would be here only so now what i have to do now i would like to run let's say skewness once again so now you can see skewness price and i would like to run this particular function kurtosis yes of course you can see now before running this function sync output one dot doc all the results were coming in this console only all the outputs were coming in this console only but now no results are reflecting here now let's say i am i am I, i'm writing this particular function shapiro dot test and i am running this function and here is no result has come over here so where are these results so let me check my one of the now one more thing let's say i would like to run this qq norms price also then i would run you can see here and now qq line price right and i would run now line is here now i would like to like to run this particular function now you can see here that is the colored line right so no results are coming but in the bar plot yes of course it is reflecting here because whatever the i would like to show you whatever the results output only not plot plot results would be here right but rest of these those we are running those output were creating earlier in the console only these thing only console output are diverting to the word document so let me check so now this one is the output one i had created this file now i have to go so you can see here you can see here all the results are reflecting here right this is my skewness this is my kurtosis result this is shapiro normality test is here earlier these results these outputs were coming in this console in this r console right so i am sure this problem is sorted out because number of the researchers they had asked me ma'am how we have to divert our results and uh, in fact one viewer she is from one uh, very good university central university she had asked me how ma'am we can divert our result i forget that command so just because of this i had created in between this particular video because that would be helpful to her as well as other researchers also so directly you can report output in your word document right but how we have to carry forward this particular plot so simply i had already explained you previously also export then copy to clipboard right copy plot and simply you can go there and enable editing and now you can here is you can okay this file is only read only control v okay read only right so just because of this we cannot just a moment let's see ah right this is the only read only file that is why we cannot put it but otherwise wherever is your word document you can paste it through control v right now what we have to do you can see here those commands previously i have run all these commands are already in my history so what i have to do let's say let's say i want this particular command let's say view this file demo library head tail summary r file each and everything let's say i want this particular command this particular function should be reflected in the this this script console script window so you can see here two source 
A moment I had pressed to source, this is reflecting is here, summary r underscore file. Now, suppose I want to send this particular this, this particular function to console. So I would press this and you can see here now summary r underscore file is reflecting here. Right. So again and again, there is no need. You have to type again and again all these commands, all these functions over here. Rather than you have to directly write from history, you can choose any. Let's say again, I would like to say uh, this one is the same function once again, like skewness price or skewness fuel. Right. I would like to show this. This one is the. Um, any, any, any command, right? QQ norms even, right? So I can, I want to send this particular function to source. So now you can see this one is the QQ norm even that is here. If you would put your cursor here, so that would be reflecting here, right? See, kurtosis even. Because earlier my cursor was there, so wherever you, you will put your cursor, this, this, this function would be, forwarded to that particular place. But now let's say I want to give this particular function in my console. So you can see here, this is function is already copied here. Now, one more thing, say, let's say one by one, I would run these commands. So these the, the, these output would be copied over here. Overlapping would be there. I mean, overwriting would be there. So for this purpose, what I have to do, I would write, append equal to t t means true right this is the logical function and this would be reflecting here sync output dot doc append equal to t so what i have to do i should write rather than rather than uh, this would be overwriting right oh i will uh, overwriting so I, I i don't want overwriting so what i have to write append so so many times you will run this thing and you will get a uh, new output. So I would write here append write equal to t. So now nothing would be over write in your Word document, right? Uh, now what I have to do, right? Suppose I want to close this sync because I want output in my console. So what I have to do, I would write simply sync and I would run this and see just a moment, right? What I have to do, I would write sync, right? And see, now no output will be going to my Word document. Now again, we will run, let's say, because even file is not here, no? I have not opened. That is why it is giving error. Uh, I had opened this file, let's say, SQNet, because this file is already open in my environment. You can see here, fuel price and after. So I would like to run SQNet price. So you can see here. Now output, once again, it is reflecting in my console. Now nowhere output is going in my Word document. So you can see here, right, right. So these are the only previous results are reflecting here. Now new results are reflecting in my console. Correct. So same with kurtosis. Suppose I would like to run. So kurtosis result is also there. Right. So you understand how we have to divert our results directly to Microsoft document. I'm sure this video would be helpful to you. Right. This is the previous one. And I'm sure in the next video, we are running some important statistical analysis like t-test, regression, and uh, correlation. Some more results we, are, we, we will work on it. Thank you so much. Keep watching.